yo what's going on guys welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and as you can see for today we are on the free to play account and i wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on the gold uniforms that we currently have in the game i want to share my thoughts on these things because in this most recent update the future fight team actually converted a bunch of different uniforms from being crystal locked to now just being gold so even if you're a new player a free to play player you have access to some pretty decent uniforms that you can use to help push world boss maybe world boss ultimate at a low level and shadowland some of them could even help you in pvp down here in the bronze leagues if you're just climbing up okay however i have noticed that a lot of characters that you fight in the bronze league is actually tier three so these uniforms don't expect too much out of them in pvp it's very interesting that even a new account like mine <laughs> actually has to fight like tier three centuries down here in the wood leagues anyways let's talk about it because i had a couple people hit me up asking what are my thoughts on the uh, gold uniforms and honestly they look decent but I was hoping that a couple more were um, being sold for gold at this point. Okay, so let's jump right into the uh, uniform shop here and let's talk about it. I went through it. By the way, the uniform sale is going to end in like, what, two days, less than two days of me recording this video. So if you can and you have some uniforms that you want to pick up, definitely go and do so. As you can see, I have a bunch of options here to consider. However, I can't afford them all. As you can see, I only have uh, 1,400 crystals. I need another, like, what, maybe 300 or so to buy two more uniforms, depending on which ones I choose. However, let's talk about which uniforms you should definitely pick up if you are a new player. Now, gold is definitely going to be something you struggle with if you are free to play just because you don't get the vip bonus from being vip 2 that essentially just makes it so that you're guaranteed to get gold every single day from doing your co-op so you want to make sure that you spend your gold wisely or as wisely as you can early on so first uniform that i would recommend that you buy is for sharon rogers why because from the uh, shield academy they give her to you at tier two i was kind of hoping that this one right here would be on sale for gold right now but i guess they feel like it still has some value and it's still selling or it still could sell even though this one and this one are literally the exact same price and i don't know why anybody with like half a fully functional brain <laughs> would um think about buying dark star over star what star night it just doesn't make sense to me all right so i think they should have put this one on sale for gold but this one is actually way better than the base kit for sharon rogers so i'm gonna pick this one up right here live with you and i think if you um are a new player you should definitely go ahead and pick that one up as your very first uniform for gold i'll show you guys which uniforms i picked up as my first uniforms for crystals in case you wanted to do something similar next up is dr strange if you are pushing through the epic quest okay dr strange is actually going to be really useful to you in this uniform because he gets reflect and he heals very very nicely with that uniform now for me since this is a uh, new account i'm not too far along the epic quest because they're asking me for materials that i really don't have a lot of right now and you can see my doctor strange is only three stars but i am going to pick up this uniform for him eventually because he's going to help me out in pvp and stuff right once i get into like maybe five stars or so then yeah i'll probably pick that uniform up so just an option for you to think about it's a really good gold uniform that will give you some more value out of your doctor strange so first uniform I picked up for um, Crystal was a uh, Ghost Rider. Actually, that's a lie. I picked up a uh, Human Torch. I picked up uniform uniform for a uh, Human Torch first, then I picked up the uniform for Ghost Rider second. Anyways, moving on. Let's jump back into the shop here, and uh, let's talk about the other ones and why they're so valuable. So this one right here. Um, before you get Doctor Strange, if you're like me and you are free and you're a new player, right? You can't get uh, Doctor Strange up too, too quickly because you're lacking the Norn Stones and all the other materials. And you then have to rank up Kaecilius. You have to rank up Baron Mordo, Ancient One, and all those guys, right? You should probably pick up this uniform for Baby Groot like I am going to do, right? You see right here? I don't have Groot, 
right? So I can't equip this right now. However, you should definitely pick it up as soon as you get Groot and you get into six stars because you can start using this Groot as a striker. And as a striker, Groot is gonna come in and he's gonna drop his healing spores on the ground and heal your characters in World Boss and World Boss Ultimate. Additionally, you could possibly use this uniform in PvP to like give your characters some more healing if they didn't have healing in their base kit to help them stay alive longer. This uniform for Groot is one of the best ones to, to this day. I think it's better than the ones that cost crystals. I think it's better than this one. And I think when this one comes around, it's still better than this because Groot's entire value in this game is just to heal, in my opinion, right? He's not a heavy damage dealer. Elsa Bloodstone. This is definitely her best uniform. So the fact that it costs gold now that's actually really, really good because it gives her a lot of skill changes. And once you get her up to tier two, you can get some work done with her in wall boss, ultimate, even low level, and you can get some work out of her for uh, Shadowland. So not a bad pickup. Iron Fist, obviously the best Iron Fist uniform is this one. With this one, you get one of the best combat characters in the game. And since he's energy based, that's even better because now you can use him literally everywhere, right? Honestly, I think this one is a decent starter uniform because it's going to give you damage accumulation and damage immunity. So, um, yeah, definitely pick this one up. Once my Iron Fist gets built up, I'm actually going to pick up this uniform and you can probably get some work out of it for as long as you need to. And then you can save up some crystals and buy this one. Honestly, I'm thinking about buying this one just because it's on sale right now for $8.75, but we'll, uh, we'll let it go for now. This one, though, for Loki. Honestly, it doesn't give you any um, changes. It doesn't give you any skill changes, but it changes Loki from male to female, which will help you cover some days in AB action, just get you some extra materials, right? So just keep that in mind. This one doesn't change any skills for Loki, but just changing genders, it will help you cover some more days in Alliance Battle Normal and Alliance Battle Extreme. On top of that, right? If a character doesn't have a uniform and they get a uniform, just the basic stat increase from 10% all attack that you get is actually still pretty useful. So that's something for you to consider. Even though some of these uniforms down here are not very good, the ones I left off the list, they're not very good, but they give you a character 10 or 15% more all attack. And that's actually really, really good. And then you get some more defense out of it. This one right here for Star-Lord is actually not that great, but it's not that bad either. He gets some skill changes and if you want beta ray build you're gonna have to upgrade star lord so this is the best one he has that costs gold so if you like the simp lord and uh you see yourself building him up this one for gold will definitely do way way better than any of the other ones down here well this one on the base kit in my opinion i might pick that one up depending on when i build up star lord just keep that in mind and then let's go back all the way to the top punisher this uniform for Punisher is actually really good if you have nothing else. Again, this is the best uniform for Punisher, Cosmic Ghost Rider. If you want to pick that up, go ahead. He's one of the better characters in the game. But these two right here, they're a waste of gold in my opinion. This one is really good, but this one is way better. But don't buy this because this the Cosmic Ghost Rider uniform is just way better. Um, let's jump into the preview here and I'll show you what makes this uniform so much better. So, as you can see, iframe. Most of the older uniforms that cost gold, you cannot chain iframes and uh, do the kind of stuff that this uniform for Frank can do, right? You can like stall out in the iframe for the third skill there, and then you can use the fifth skill, which does decent damage for like how old and outdated this uniform is. It's definitely way, 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 way better than the base kit, okay? So if you want to use the Punisher, and you are free to play, you're a new player coming into the game, this uniform for gold is actually not bad. So I put it on the list. This one right here is actually really, really, really good because you're able to like put up immunity on your third skill. The cooldown is not that long if you are uh, if you have a uh, max skill cooldown on your cards. The damage is not the greatest, but you will be able to get some Shadowland done with this guy. He actually is able to stun lock people and stun them and just basically beat them into submission. Um, this is the uh, best uniform for him that costs gold. So if you want to play with him, that's actually what you're going to need, in my opinion. Next one is this one right here for Winter Soldier. 
um winter soldier is a character that they require you to build up as a part of the shield academy and unless you have this uniform you're not going to really be able to use him for anything besides his leadership because the base kit has nothing whereas this uniform right here gives him a couple different skill changes he gives himself damage immunity for a couple seconds however if you just quickly tap the third skill you can actually get the immunity and you can actually then jump into one of your other skills and the third skill will never go on cooldown so if you just quickly hit the third skill you can get the immunity and then use one of your other skills so you're safe and then you can actually do some damage and not take any damage so this uniform i would definitely recommend picking up for gold and i will actually pick it up because like i said winter soldier is one of the characters that they require you to build up for the shield academy destroyer now the reason why i put destroyer on this list is because of the, by the way i don't have a uh, destroyer unlocked yet but i put him on here because this is the best uniform for destroyer most of the characters that you're gonna fight in a uh, timeline battle they're energy based and if you're not strong enough to kill them the next best thing is to put in somebody like destroyer and make them kill themselves if you can't kill your enemy well put a roadblock in front of them and have them run over it and pop their own tires and you know crash and burn basically so uh yeah this uniform for destroyer is really really good because it gives him more basic stats so that's actually going to help him reflect more damage and basically stay alive longer with the extra defense and he's going to basically just be your uh, win condition if you're not strong enough to kill people so these are the top uniforms in my opinion for gold i would have liked to uh see this one right here for venom actually go on sale for gold unfortunately they know okay they know that this anti-venom uniform is still one of the best so they're like nah 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 even though it's old and outdated we're not selling this one for gold because it will still sell and rightfully so right because if you're playing war boss ultimate and your character has defense down you don't want to use this uniform for venom because his defense down is going to conflict with your character's defense down so you want to use this one so this one definitely has a lot of value but i was hoping that i would see this one on the list for gold unfortunately it is not but it is what it is okay there's some decent uniforms on sale for gold now you could even pick up this black widow uniform for gold and it's not too too bad you do only get one skill change but just keep in mind you already get this one right here for free and from the list of the ones they give you early on with captain america iron man and black widow the black widow one is the best and honestly guys if you have no uniform for a character just pick up one of these ones for gold if you want to play with them right here the black bolt one for gold is actually not bad either right he gets one skill change, but the skill change is actually pretty decent because it allows him to funnel people together right in front of him. And then basically you can just blast them down. So like he just pulls them in and then blasts them up. So I would personally pick this one up for Black Gold if you wanted to play with them. But most of these characters, because they're really old, you're going to need to tier two them to really like do much with them because they don't have iframes and stuff, even on their uniforms, because back then uniforms didn't uh change much it was just like more of a cosmetic thing but uh yeah we'll wrap it up right here thank you guys so much for watching in my opinion these are some of the top uniforms for gold currently um i was hoping we'll see a couple more on sale for gold especially this ugly rogue one but it doesn't really change much for rogue right so base kit rogue is perfectly fine right if, if you're new anyways and you're just using her for shadowland so catch you guys in the next one leave me your thoughts